Welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Satoli. Today we're in Scott County, Kentucky, where I came across this abandoned steel truss bridge. Stay tuned and we'll check it out. Before we talk about this old bridge, let's talk about what defines a ghost road and a phantom bridge. A ghost road is a roadway that was once owned or is currently owned by the county. This road originally carried traffic on a daily basis, but over the years, the county may have chosen to no longer maintain the road or close it completely. The road may now be private property or could still be owned by the county. A phantom bridge is a span that was once used on a daily basis to cross a body of water, such as a stream or a creek. A phantom bridge is always located on a ghost road and can be one of the ultimate finds during a road tour. Phantom bridges were usually bypassed after the current roadway was realigned. A phantom bridge can usually be located near a bridge currently in use. A good way to spot phantom bridges is to look left and right when crossing a bridge. Sometimes these bridges may be up to 100 yards up or downstream from the current bridge location. Now that we know about ghost roads and phantom bridges, let's take a look at this old bridge. This mystery bridge is located in Scott County, Kentucky, about 10 miles northwest of downtown Georgetown. This abandoned steel pony truss bridge is about 25 feet long and spans Lytle Fork Creek. Apparently, the bridge was used on a county road, but the Scott County Highway Department doesn't have any record of it, and the Scott County Historical Society doesn't know anything about it either. I've been unable to contact the current property owner, so I've hit a dead end here. Guessing from the design, I would say the bridge was built in the 1920s to 1930s, Aerial photos show that it was moved to this location sometime between 1986 and 1998, although a floor was never installed that I can see, which means it was probably never used by anyone trying to cross the Lytle Fork Creek. If anyone has any additional information about this span, please let me know. Thanks for watching another edition of History in Your Own Backyard, and remember, Travel slowly and stop often. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.